Hi, today we're continuing the daily halacha and the ilchot av afrashat chala. A dough that has the weight um, of flour that is demanded from it to have separated the chala, even though the dough itself will be used for different breads or different cakes, which will not separately have the exact weight, Nevertheless, one has to separate the the chala with the bracha. But if for some for some for for example, somebody has made dough and has the requirement in order to separate the chala and make a bracha, but this dough will be separated for different people, but it will be separated before they actually bake it while it's still dough then if while well, after separating it doesn't have the requirement or the weight one does not have to separate the chala now what kind of dough requires one to separate chala so it has to be from a, a, a flower that it is from one of the five grains that is a thick dough that is for example uh, has to be baked or uh, 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 in an oven or made out of cake or to make some kind of bread etc or even if we'll take a bread for like, for example, for like donuts, as long as it's not um, uh, uh, fried together with different kind of liquids, it is still required to separate challah. So for example, um, and at that time a person would have to make a bracha also. For example, if the dough itself uh, is going to be cooked in some kind of liquids, for example, if we make uh, pashtida or kugel or uh, any kind of uh, a, a dough that's together with uh, what with the meat filling or for example making spaghettis out of the dough or another case for example if the dough will be turned into bisli or made bisli uh, one should separate um, the 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 the, the, the khala, but without the bracha.